I'm Rob from Hobbsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're going to be looking at the first of the most recent series of uh, prototype challenge beers from Brewdog. This is the 2012 um, set. I mean, I'm, I'm recording this just at the, it's just before Christmas 2012, so these probably won't make the, the light of day until early next year. But these beers landed on my doorstep the other day, and the beer that I'm going to be looking at today is. Nuns with Guns, it's a 4.2% ABV dry hop pilsner and the interesting thing about it, it's dry hopped with also, well, it's hopped with some fantastic American hops, it's hopped with Chinook, Centennial, Cascade and Amarillo, I mean they're, they're IPA hops. So I think, I mean, they always did a nice p pilsner, um, um, 77 Lager, that's like Moto Echo and all sorts of stuff, it's got some fantastic like New Zealand hops in that and I always liked it. I have tried this on tap at Brewdog Manchester, so I've got a rough idea of what I'm, I've got in store for myself. But the, I think the thing with these um, prototype beers from Brewdog, um, the most popular one eventually uh, becomes part of their permanent range. I think the last lot was um, won by Dogma, because I still see that in the shop, so I think that was the one that won last time. So yeah, just plain labels at the moment, it's just part of the prototype as it says on there. So the beer in the glass, beautifully, beautiful clarity, it's more of like a pale bronze I'd say. Maybe a little bit darker for a uh, for a lager. The head, nice tight, f frothy, pillowy, kind of sudsy head. Pretty much white, yeah, pretty much, it's maybe pale beige, but it's pretty much white, just slightly off white. Anyway, let's check out the aroma. Mmm. Not getting loads, it's quite grassy. It's quite... Oh, it's coming through now. It's, there's a musty note which I get a lot from a lot of brewed up beers actually. Apricots, definitely. Kind of like a sweeter orange, definitely kind of like a buttery kind of sweet bread. Like a Madeira cake, maybe. There's a grassy note at the back end now. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Lovely, spot on. Really good, actually. Initially, wet, like you'd expect from a lager. Mild, kind of lychee, cum, melon, like a, like a like honeydew melon, that kind of thing. White grape. Oh yeah, melon, big time, big time melon. Slightly kind of grassy note at the back end. There's a nice peak of bitterness, which I'd say is... A slightly kind of um, dulled grapefruit with a really juicy kind of melon thing going on as well. It's really good actually, it's really easy drinking. It's got a, it does have a, 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 a kind of a lager note in there. Just only a bit because it's got that kind of slightly uh, kind of wholemeal bread now and slightly kind of grainy element at the back end as well which becomes a bit more grassy, a little bit more herbal slightly more lemon at the back end but really easy drinking I mean if this is going to replace 77 lager why not, let's, let's switch it up, let's do a different lager that's a really nice one. It's because 77 is a, a, a lovely lager. This is a really nicely done lager. I'd say will appeal to a lot of um, kind of casual drinkers. They probably won't have a bloody clue what it is. I mean, 77 lager. It says, it says lager in the name. This is called Nuns with Guns. People are going to realise that's a lager, and it's those people who predominantly kind of the lager drinking public. I'm not going to say. Pilsners are a bad thing because they're not. When they're done well, they're absolutely fantastic. And there is a, I mean, middle of summer, what better than an ice cold Pilsner? But for those people, oh, this sounds like a snob, but I think you've got to be a bit more prescriptive. 
uh, to those to kind of the people who are not as kind of will look further than what's on the ball. They're, hopefully, they might, they'll be go. Ooh, nuns with guns. I'll get that. It's got a silly name. But a lot of people, if you just say it's a lager, especially in brew dog bars, you, you, periodically I'm sat in there. A uh, big group will come in. I mean, it's, it's a cool looking bar. Um, they walk in there and they kind of confronted with a chalkboard. No pump clips. No kind of recognisable brands. Uh, a chalkboard with names on it, and it just says nuns with guns. You won't think it's lager, and I think this would appeal to any lager drinker because it's a, it's a really it's a lager without a doubt, but it takes it to a whole new level, and it's really tasty. It's got a really unusual but really palatable um, hot flavour. As I say, it was it's all it's a lot, very melony. It's got that kind of white grape, lychee, gooseberry kind of thing kind of running through the middle of it, and it's a lovely, lovely beer. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. So that is a bottle of Nuns with Guns, 4.2% dry hop lager from Brewdog. So there you go, first one of the a prototype series. I'll be hitting these two um, later on and you'll see, the, see them in the next couple of days. Anyway, I'm Rob from Pobzine.com. This is a cracking lager and I'll see you next time. Cheers.